All right, it's time for the world famous Weather for Weather Geeks midweek edition here on the sixth day of May 2020. Our Wednesday was on the cool side once again. And, you know, when you look at this from a calendar perspective, April was full of blue boxes, meaning cooler than average temperatures. And with the exception of the pretty warm first weekend of May, uh, the trend has definitely continued this month. We only did 52 on the first day of the month, and we've had now three consecutive days with highs in the uh, 50s as uh, we've rolled into a new work week. So 3.4 degrees cooler than average is where we stand now through the first six days of the month. And that deficit, if you will, will continue to grow in the coming days with some very, very chilly air heading our way. You notice this afternoon, especially when the sun broke out, that the wind started to pick up. We had some gusts for a few hours, up to 25 miles per hour at the Youngstown Warren Airport. The wind will diminish pretty quickly this evening. It's already kind of slowing down. And with uh, clear nights, calming winds, we've got a cold night on the way. Visible satellite picture, uh, this is 12 hours worth of satellite imagery here and a gloomy start to the day with a little mist and drizzle. And then actually looked pretty nice this afternoon, but you definitely needed to bundle up. There was a chill in the air, especially with the wind. Last night's uh, rainmaker is off to our east at this point. This little disturbance across the Midwest is what uh, is gonna rotate through the flow next. and. Uh, start to produce maybe some sprinkles and some showers around here by tomorrow afternoon. In the meantime, no surprise, the uh, National Weather Service in both Cleveland and Pittsburgh hoisted some cold weather alerts for tonight. This will be a freeze warning in Mercer and Lawrence counties, a frost advisory for all of our eastern Ohio counties. And this is the first of many such cold weather alerts coming in the, in the next several nights. I think we've got a good chance of a hard freeze Friday night, Saturday morning and frost and freeze possibilities will be in the forecast again Saturday night, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Monday morning, and for probably the first half of next week. I would not be real comfortable saying that we're done with 32 degree readings at night until the end of next week. So we've got another week or so worth of this pattern to go. All right, if your car is sitting out tonight and you do need to head off to work or do something uh, tomorrow morning involving getting in the car, uh, you're going to need an extra minute or two probably to scrape that frost. It'll definitely be thicker tomorrow morning across most of our area than it was yesterday morning when we just had kind of a light film in most spots. All right, we have a full moon tonight, and it's not just a full moon. It's a super moon. It's the final super moon of this year. Just a reminder, of course, a super moon means it's a full moon that coincides with the moon being at its closest point to the planet Earth in its orbit. Uh, it's not a completely, perfectly circular orbit. It gets a little bit closer at some points, a little bit farther away. And when that uh, full moon coincides with the moon being a little closer to us, to the naked eye, it's not a real big difference, but it's 14% larger, about 30% brighter than a standard full moon. It's also called the flower moon, maze full moon. All right, so cold, frosty start to Thursday. We have this little disturbance dropping in. I think there's going to be a lot of dry air in the lower levels of the atmosphere tomorrow afternoon, so this is probably not much more than a sprinkle or a quick five-minute shower in most spots. All right, tricky forecast here for Friday. Our in-house model is pretty far south with the moisture here on Friday, maybe a little too far to the south. I would not be surprised if at 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning, the, moist the moisture shield, the precipitation, is about up to here. And this may come in as a cold rain with some wet snowflakes mixed in. It may go back and forth a little bit between rain and wet snow at times through midday and afternoon. Our in-house model here also kind of flat with this wave of low pressure. And so it already tapers off the precipitation by early afternoon. This may be a little too fast. This may be a little more amplified. And so our chance for rain and wet snow may linger a little longer than our, our one model here is showing during the afternoon Friday. Nonetheless, kind of a tricky forecast because there's, in addition to this model, there's other models that have this idea. There's some other models that have the farther north idea. That's where I lean right now, but either way, just plan on a cold one Friday with at least a handful of hours of chilly rain and wet snow. And yikes, Saturday is going to be nasty. Uh, air temperature struggling into the lower 40s. Wind chills not very nice. And yeah, I think there'll be some flurries lingering into the morning. Speaking of those wind chills, Saturday morning wind chills in the teens and probably no better than the upper 20s to around 30 Saturday afternoon. Now, as far as air temperatures go, uh, we now have 41 in the forecast for Friday, 43 on Saturday. 
that 41 would be our coldest high temperature in the month of May on any day in May since 1973. But aha, there is a glimmer of hope in the longer range. Uh, we talked about this some last evening. The pattern is going to flip. Uh, at the very least, the pattern is going to get back to where we'd expect to be in, in mid-May. But I think there will be some opportunities for warmer than average temperatures coming up. Now, it's going to take until the end of next week, but it's going to come. This is the 8 to 14 day outlook, and it shows kind of a neutral looking pattern here locally, but that's because day 8 is still probably pretty chilly. By days 10 through 14, I think we're getting into some of these oranges. And I, I, I like what I see out of the medium range modeling as we uh, head towards the 15th, 16th, and beyond. There's going to be 70s in our future, and it's going to look and feel like May finally. But we've got another seven or eight days, maybe even nine, <laughs> where temperatures are staying below the average. Our forecast, if you check out our daily forecast on the app, we still have high temperatures in the upper 40s and lower 50s into early next week. You know, this stretch is pretty remarkable stuff for May. All right, thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks tonight. Hope you enjoyed this in-depth look at our Mahoning and Shenango Valley uh, weather. We'll have some more updates uh, throughout the course of the evening on social media and on 21 News at 11. I'll be checking uh, in on the, the evening modeling uh, with regards to Friday and uh, Saturday's situation, exactly where that precipitation shield will decide to set up. We'll see if we get any hints from the evening modeling, and uh, I'll post some thoughts on social media. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great rest of your Wednesday night.